Hello and welcome to Tampa, Florida, home of the 2023 Ideal Elite Trades Championship Series. Tonight, inside the Tampa Convention Center, the top plumbers in America are battling it out in the ultimate skills competition. The Ideal Elite Trades Championship Series was created to celebrate the excellence of tradespeople and to help address the shortage of tradesmen and women throughout the country. Electricians, auto technicians, Take number one. and HVAC technicians have battled it out in years past. And now there's a brand new competition in the pipeline. It's the inaugural Plumbing National Championship. and welcome to the 2023 Plumbing National Championship. I'm your host, Joel Godet. I'm joined by our plumbing expert, Scott Carey. Thanks, Joel. I am so excited for tonight's competition. This is the first year that plumbers have a chance to compete at the Elite Trades Championship Series. And I, for one, can't wait to see them show off their skills on a national stage. Hundreds attempted to qualify for this competition. That field has been whittled down to just five. Before we're done tonight, the best of the best will be named national champion, and they'll walk away with $10,000. It's time to turn that pressure on. Let's meet our competitors. First, we have Dave McDonough from Speedway in Indiana. He's been in the plumbing trade for 40 years, putting him decades ahead of the competition in terms of experience. Next up from Cincinnati, Ohio, Joe Jaspers. He's a fourth generation plumber, and he helps run the family business with his father. The youngest competitor here tonight, Joe was eager to see more people enter the trade. From Fairfax, Virginia, Dave Shaner. He's been in the plumbing trade ever since he graduated high school and currently works in management as the installation team leader at the same company as our very next competitor. Justin Kutu, also from Fairfax, Virginia and with 15 years of plumbing under his belt. Justin had a long road into this trade, but he's ready to take on not just his colleague, Dave Shaner, but the entire field of competition tonight. And last, from Peabody, Massachusetts, we have Craig Childress, our first Elite Trades Championship Series crossover competitor. Earlier, we saw Craig dominate in the Service Titan HVAC National Championship, and now he's back to try and claim the title in plumbing and go two for two. Plumbing is the trade that Craig focuses on in his day-to-day -day job at Boston University, and we'll see if he can school this competition. Scott, it's an impressive field with a combined 113 years of experience between them. These plumbers represent the best of the best in the industry. They know their stuff. Let's take a look at their challenge though today. That's in our competition breakdown, sponsored by Yokohama. For this final, these competitors will complete the installation of a water heater and sink. To begin, they'll install PVC drain, waste, and vent lines from the sewer stub up, as well as PEX water lines, and a main water line with shutoff valve. They'll then need to complete a copper piping installation on the water heater with discharge pipes and pressure relief valve. Finally, they'll hammer in the nail plates, complete the water line connections, and finish work on the laundry sink, P-trap, and PVC drain line. They'll have only 90 minutes to complete this job. Lots to get done. The competitors are going over their carts. They're getting mentally prepared. We're going to send it down to the third member of our crew. That's Chip Wade. He's down on the floor with our Get In The Zone AutoZone report. Thanks guys, the competitors are now all at their stations. They were just briefed moments ago and now they're setting up all of their tools, getting their schematics all completely organized. Now certainly these plumbers are skilled and have installed water heaters and sinks many times before, but doing it in under an hour and a half is gonna be a new challenge. Back to you. Thanks Chip. Well, I for one am excited to see what happens here, Scott. What do you think is gonna be the biggest hurdle from the jump? I think it's going to be the time crunch, Joel. This may seem like a pretty standard install job, but when you have to account for all your crimps, all your pipe connections, it's a lot of very detailed work and the minutes add up quick. Well, speaking of time, we are just seconds away from the start. Back down to Chip, he's about to count us in. All right, competitors, find your pads with your timers. I'm gonna count you in and you have to hit your pads to start. Are you ready to turn the pressure up? In three, two, one, let's go! 
The very first plumbing national championship is officially underway. Scott Karen, first thing that you're looking at here, a lot of PVC work from the jump. That's right, they're getting set up with the hole saws. They gotta set up that plumbing stack right away, get the bulkiest stuff out of the way. Well, Justin Kutuf gets set next to that utility sink. You might notice that from a utility room or a laundry room, your basement at home. Absolutely, right next to the water heater that I'm sure they're gonna get really intimate with. Craig Childress already with a win under his belt from the HVAC championships this year. Have to figure he feels confident. You can see Joe Jaspers starting his drill work as well. Yep, drilling through that top plate with that big right angle drill takes a lot of muscles. Our plumbers have plenty of work to do and there is a lot on the line, so do not go anywhere because we're coming right back to the Plumbing National Championship on CBS Sports Network. The 2023 Plumbing National Championship on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Service Titan, the all-in-one software platform for contractors in the trades. Shark Bite, nothing beats the shark. And by Ideal, the electrician's champion. Welcome back to Tampa, Florida. We're at the inaugural Plumbing National Championship. This competition is the first and only one of its kind. It shines a spotlight on the people who drive this essential plumbing trait. Right now, we have Chip Wade down on the floor. He's with one of our partners, Chris Carrier from Sharkbite, talking about their support of this trade and this awesome competition. We're here with Chris from Sharkbite. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I love that y'all are a part of the first plumbing championship. Yeah, now, true. the trades are clearly very important to this competition, but they're also important to you guys as well. Tell me about that. Yeah, really, the trades are the lifeline of our, our business, and uh, we're just so excited and thrilled to be here. Part of what we want to do is just help promote the trade. There's always been that stigma around it. We feel it's been underrepresented, and, and things like this are just helping, I think, attract other young people into the trade and, and hopefully help with some of the labor issues that we, we faced. Well, thank you for being here. Y'all are definitely putting your money where your mouth is, uh, and this is a great thing to be a part of. So thanks for joining us, Chris. Yeah, thank you. Chip, thank you. Scott, we're getting those hole saws situated. That's correct, Joel. You know, they're having so much troubles with those hole saws. Pilot bit has to stick to the end of the hole saw, or as we know from prior competitions, it's going to skate around the whole wood. Justin Kutsu installing that PEX piping. Red, obviously, for hot, blue for cold, but why is he struggling so much to pull that through? He drilled those holes too small. The holes are supposed to be drilled larger so that you can use the proper clip to fasten it, but also to act as a silencer. When that red hot pipe expands from the heat, it's gonna make creaking noise behind your walls. That's not gonna be good. And that paper you see in the competitor's hands is the scope. What needs to be done is very clearly spelled out and everything will be judged and measured to specification. You're absolutely right. All the judges have judging scores based on what's on that scope. If they mismeasure something, cut it the wrong way, it's gonna cost them points in the end, which could end up costing them the whole competition. Justin Kutu still working through his early tasks. We talked about red for hot, blue for cold. That white PVC he's measuring for does what? That's the waistline going out to the septic system or the city sewer. The one going over to the left is gonna be the drain for the utility sink or the laundry sink. And the one going straight up is called the stack. That's the vent. And then it's going down into the floor, which is simulating going out to a septic system or the city sewer. David Shaner now on to cutting the PVC. Yep, that one-handed reciprocating saw. Oh, a little bit of a slip there. Glad to see he had his safety gloves on. Makes real light work of cutting through that two-inch PVC drain pipe. His colleague, Justin Kutu, back home in Fairfax, Virginia, also on that stage. Justin's been in the trade for 15 years. Let's take a look closer at his journey. It's just amazing what the trades and plumbing brought me to Tampa on a paid trip to compete on camera it's amazing my name is justin kuchu i've been working in the trades 10 12 years from manassas virginia i came up and i was kind of bouncing around didn't really know what i wanted out of life and uh, a good friend of mine approached me and said hey i could use some summer help plumbing i'd like working with my hands i like the critical thinking of it trying to map out how to get a sewer line from point a to point b and stay in the rules of the code book and it just spoke to me and i've loved it ever since
The thing that drives me the most is definitely family, providing for my family, making sure they're happy, comfortable, have everything they need. I do like the challenges at work, like solving problems and helping people too. That's what keeps my job rewarding, but the motivation to stay working and waking up every day is all about kids and the wife. They're my whole world. I work at Crop Metcalf. We do plumbing, HVAC, pest control, and electrical. <laughs> I run the plumbing department. So we have two divisions, install and service, and I just oversee day-to-day -day operations, take care of customers, technicians, make sure the train stays on the tracks. <laughs> David Chainer, he's my install manager. I'll be competing against them today too. So we're very competitive with each other at work. So whenever a question arises, there's always side bets on who's more right than the other, or whose job goes smoother. But we've known each other a long time, so this will be fun. My advice for anybody getting into the trades today would just, you know, show up to work every day, be willing to learn. It takes years to definitely get your feet under you, become a journeyman, and just take it slow and stay humble. Justin and his coworker Dave Shaner are both flying through their installs of the PVC drain line. So far, it looks like a little bit of a friendly rivalry. So not only are you competing against the best plumbers in the country, these two guys are competing against the best plumber in their own company. Just a little added pressure, Joel. You can see Justin operating with that drain. That's the drain from the laundry sink going into the stack. He's only allowed to use two couplings right there. It looks like he's nailed it. This is David McDonough drilling the hole for the vent or for the stack going up through the top. That's quite a powerful drill that he's operating there. That's 24 volts of pure power popping through that top plate like it's nothing. Is this hole drilled in the right spot though is the question. That purple is the primer before the glue is put on onto the PVC. That's yeah. not your typical glue though. We are literally creating chemical bonds here that turns that into one piece of PVC. That's right, once he pushes that sanitary tee on that stub up, it's not moving anywhere. Ever. Ever. The purple, obviously purple because you can see that you've primed the PVC and it's okay to put the glue on. And for the inspectors to make sure you prime that PVC. And the primer is a prep for the next step, which is the clear glue. Once you push those two fittings together, it's not coming out. More from the 2023 Plumbing National Championship when we come back. Back here at the Tampa Convention Center for the Plumbing National Championship, we've got the top five plumbers in America undergoing a 90-minute installation of a water heater and sink, and they are just starting to break a sweat. Looks like David McDonough is stressed about something going on from the west side of Indianapolis. We saw him drill that hole earlier, Scott. Wondered if it was in the right spot. How easy a fix is that? The problem is he went from the ground, took the measurement, jumped up the ladder, tried to mark it on the right spot, missed it, drilled the hole. It's a three and a half inch hole, Joel. He's gonna have a problem there. Let's check in with Chip. David, I'm coming yes, to sir. check in on you. How's it going? Well, I've made my first mistake. Oh no, told me about it. Keep working, but I'm gonna kind of ask you some questions. I started measuring uh, real quick down below and I drilled my hole off center. So I'm trying to just decide what I'm gonna do to correct that. We're with you, Dave. Thanks, Chip. We thought he might have made a mistake with that hole. How easy a fix is that? He might have to use a reciprocating saw just to cut a bigger hole. Once you have a hole saw going through a piece of wood like that, you can't adjust it right or left. Well, Dave McDonough is chasing the likes of Craig Childress, who's already won the HVAC National Championship. Let's dive in more on Craig. My name is Craig Childress. I'm from PBD, Massachusetts. I've been in the trade for 21 years. Well, I work at Boston University. I'm the uh, lead worker in the plumbing shop. I went to uh, a vocational high school for 14. When I got into the trades, I picked plumbing right out of the gate. The more and more I did, the more and more I enjoyed doing it, the more and more I wanted to learn. I loved working with hands. I like creating something. I did a lot of bathroom remodels, so we went from either having nothing there or having something there, taking it out and making it new. So creating something from scratch really is what hooked me, I think. My friend Mac Schwartz won HVAC last year. So I got a little bit of information from him, but my expectations are just 
when the time for the competition comes, just give them my all, see what happens. I felt as far as entering the competitions, enter both of them. Why not? You know, I'm gonna be here, might as well give it all I have. The pro that's taking it all home, Craig Childress! It was, it was great competing with four other great people from around the nation. And it was unbelievable coming out on top. And then hearing my wife in the background screaming, and I'm just thinking about how proud my kids are gonna be when I bring that trophy home. I want my wife to be happy. I want them all to be happy and proud of me at the end of the day. This has been an unbelievable experience. I think that it's a wonderful accomplishment to be able to, to compete in two. And being the first person, I mean, it means the world to me. Winning this plumbing competition would mean everything to me. It's everything that I've worked for. I've put a lot into the trade since I was uh, in high school. You know, having my wife support me all the way, I would be over the moon about winning this. And Chip's down on the floor with Craig. Craig! Yes, sir. It's getting louder in here. Everybody's kind of ramping everything up. Getting loud in here, I yep. see you got your waste stack and your vent pipe starting to go. How's everything going for you? So far, so good. No any, complaints. Any hiccups? Not yet, unless you know one. <laughs> All right, man, good luck. All right, sounds good, thank you. Craig Childress again, the HVAC national champion already here in 2023, looking to become the very first double champ in the Elite Trades Championship Series history. Dave Shaner measuring for what Scott, I think is gonna be this PVC stack. What's the job of what we see being cut here? That's correct, Joel. That stack, also known as a vent, is doing two things. It's allowing sewer gases to escape through the roof of your house. And the second thing, it acts similar to a straw where if that isn't open, it's gonna stop all water flow. In other words, just put your finger on top of that stack. You're not gonna have any drain to the outside. More looks at the hole saw, and you can see the precision that it takes, especially when you consider that these have to be drilled at a downwardly pitched angle. That's correct, Joel, and it looks like he made a little bit of an error here. He's re-drilling that with a larger hole saw. I think he might have picked the wrong one to start with. Now this is Teflon tape that you put around the top of the water heater? Teflon tape on all the male threads, and then you put the female adapter on it. Look like Justin cut his finger there pretty good. He's gonna have to get some medical attention. So. Why the Teflon tape to make that connection? Teflon tape makes it a watertight connection and it makes the threads really lock together tightly. As we get a look at David McDonough still trying to connect this PVC. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's pitching the right way. It looks like it's pitching left. It's supposed to be pitching right. He's gonna have to use a bigger hole saw, which is gonna cost him points, or he's gonna have to use a reciprocating saw and just start hacking it out of there. Now the first time we've seen the copper pipe come in from the mock setup that would take you outside the house. That water pipe is the feed coming in from the city. You only get your house fed with cold water. It goes into the hot water heater, heats the water and sends it out throughout the house. Great look here at David McDonough getting that hole now right. The question is, there's a lot of wood removed. Does that impact the structure of the stud? Yes, this is called a wet wall, Joel. It's made with two by six studs instead of the normal two by four studs, giving it extra structure to allow the drain, waste, and vent pipes to be cut out of the wall itself. David Chandler, first time we've seen this bracket come into play. That's a hold right bracket that holds the water line where they're supposed to be on the rough. So on the final, you go in and everything's right where it's supposed to be. And now the first time we're seeing the measuring gauge, you need to mark all of your copper piping. Working with those fittings, it's a three-step process, Joel. You need to clean it with a scouring pad, deburr it, and then use this marking gauge to make sure that you're getting the depth on these push-to-connect fittings. Bulk of our competitors moving those water heaters into place. David McDonough still wrestling with the PVC, although it's got, it looks like his markings are in the right place. It does, Joel. It looks like he's finally getting that drain pipe glued up. You gotta make sure that pipe is straight so that the water flowing through it doesn't create any stoppages later on. Well, our plumbers are getting into their flow. Who will shoot to the top and whose hopes are headed down the drain? Stick around to find out at the 2023 Plumbing National Championship.
Back here at the Tampa Convention Center for the 2023 Plumbing National Championships, and it looks like most of our competitors are beginning to work on their hot water heaters. Scott, what's the key to a good hot water heater install? Making sure that they get the right pipes into the right holes. I know that sounds real simple, but you have a hot water out and a cold water in. You've got to make sure you get all the fittings and parts and pieces all lined up in the right way. There's a lot of things going on there in that hot water heater. Maybe this one's a silly question. How many times do you have to wrap that Teflon tape? No such thing as a silly question, Joel. Three to five times should make a real watertight connection. Silly question. Where do you find a hot water heater in most homes? If you have a basement, generally it's in the basement or it could be in a closet on a first floor or in some of the warmer climates, it's actually outside in a little closet. About a dozen tasks for these competitors to accomplish around the hot water heater. You have the copper piping, the discharge pipe, the pressure relief valve, and we're about halfway through this competition. David Shander looking pretty cool, calm and collected. Almost 30 years in the industry will do that for you. He knows that clock is ticking. He knows the cameras are on him. He knows this is a competition for real big money. Scott, you talked about needing to make sure you have the right pipes on the water heater. Which one's the in, which one's the out? The in, what the cold water comes into, is on the right-hand side, and the out is on the left-hand side, going to the hot water of the sink. David McDonough measuring for the install of his hold right bracket. That will hold the water lines. Again, the red is the hot water. The blue is the cold water. Those tubes will come through those holes in the wooden studs that he's drilled. Taking a look at Joe Jaspers out of the Queen City, Cincinnati, Ohio. This job is in his blood. He's not just a second or third, but fourth generation plumber. He's been at this since the age of 15. Let's take a look. I find motivation in a lot of things, you know. It pays well to be in construction. You're not sitting in an office. You get to see all of the city, and I get to provide for my wife and my dogs, and, you know, hopefully start a family soon. I'm Joe Jaspers. I'm a contractor plumber in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I've been doing plumbing for about 12 years. Winning this competition will be really fun. It's not even for the money, it's for, you know, my plumbing buddies back home. I can always hold that over their heads like, oh, well, how many championships have you won? I mean, it, I think it'll be good for business, and what I really, really hope is today, it'll help bring some young guys to our company. My dad knows quite a bit about plumbing. I'm a fourth generation plumber, so it runs deep in the family. He worked under his dad in the field and I've worked for my dad since I was 15. That was great, being that young, learning how to work hard and work with my hands. It's, it's a great feeling, you know, going on your first job alone and being able to accomplish something with your own two hands and showing your dad, in my case, my dad, you know, being proud of my work and him knowing that it's all because of him, it's a great feeling. My dad is the sole owner of Jasper's Plumbing. I'm his main foreman, and I have a few clients of my own that I take care of for him. My wife is Maria. She's here with me today. She's originally from Columbia. We've been married for two years, together for about seven. For the first three years of dating, she was here on a work visa. And then farther on, she did have to go home, but we went through the long distance for about a year and a half, and I finally asked her to marry me, and best decision of my life. You now she's here to support me. You know, she's just a great, great wife, and I couldn't ask for anybody better. Joe Jaspers and his wife, Maria, here at the competition supporting him. He continues to work on that hot water heater. It's measuring for those shark bite push to connect fittings. That fitting is attached to the hot water heater, so he's driving that copper pipe down in. The important thing here, Joel, is he has to make sure that they get all the steps, every single fitting that they do. If the judge catches them missing one step, they lose the entire point for that particular task. In other words, if he forgets to ream one pipe, he loses the whole point. We've used the word reaming and scouring on these copper pipes a bunch. What specifically does that do? Scouring removes any of the oxidation and contaminants on the outside of the copper pipe. Reaming is on the inside of the pipe, which removes the sharp burrs. And lastly, marking so that they can get that fitting installed correctly. Justin Kutu's family, his wife Hillary, all here to support him as these plumbers continue to work up a sweat in Tampa. Do not go anywhere because the 2023 Plumbing National Championship 
continues when we come back. Back at the Tampa Convention Center with the 2023 Plumbing National Championship, the nation's top five plumbers are racing against the clock to complete a task that could win them a national title and $10,000. Time, workmanship, two major factors in our judging here today, but safety, a major factor. Let's head back down onto the floor with Chip Wade for our Little Giant Ladder Systems Safety Report. Sam, one of our great judges for the plumbing competition, you have an eagle eye watching over these competitors. Safety clearly is a big issue. What types of things are you looking for that are going to affect these plumber scores? Making sure that they're wearing their safety helmet, their uh, safety glasses, uh, their gloves, you know, keeping their area neat and clean and keeping their power tools uh, in order so that they don't have an accident. What specifically is unique to the plumbing trade that can be particularly dangerous that these guys have to watch out for? Plumbers are working in the rafters, they're working underneath sinks, they're uh, working with pressure valves and they're working in So having proper safety protocol and keeping their head on straight can keep a small thing from turning into a big thing. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you, Sam. I'll let you get back to watching these guys and keeping them safe. Okay, but thanks. Thanks, man. Okay. Chip, thank you. 54 minutes plus into a 90 minute competition. Quick reset for you. Most of these competitors have installed their PVC drain, waste, and vent lines from that sewer stub up. They've worked with the PEX water lines and the main water line along with the shutoff valve. They are now completing the copper piping installation on that water heater with the discharge pipes and the pressure relief valve. Craig Childress is competing in his second championship here in Tampa. He's already taken home the top prize for the HVAC. Evaluate his water heater station here for me, Scott. Craig is in a great spot right now. He's tidying up the last of the connections from the water main going into the hot water tank. You can see he's got that black vacuum relief valve on top. That prevents the water heater from imploding. Just in case a firefighter was outside with his pump truck pulling down the water line, it's a big safety feature. Second, he has the pressure gauge on the pipe. These judges are gonna be pressurizing this water system to make sure there are no leaks on the judging part of this competition. Looks like that shark bike fitting is being pulled off by Joe Jaspers with a wrench. He's using a adjustable wrench to push that collar up so that he can pull that tee off of there. So clearly a mismeasurement by Joe how do we have to fix this? He's going to cut that pipe down. You can see how the T from one end going towards the wall doesn't line up. Is that an easy fix? It's an easy fix, Joe. All he has to do is use the tubing cutter. It looks like he already has a mark there. Figure out exactly where he's going to go. Recut it. Re-ream it. Re-scour it. Remark it. And push it on there. Trying to do that all while chasing down Craig Childress. Justin Kutsu working to install his red shutoff valve on the water heater. These competitors still need to complete their work by the laundry sink with the P-trap and the PVC drain, also completing the water line connections. And Scott, that's what we see here with David McDonough. First time seeing this PEX expansion tool, it's used to expand this PEX A product. Looks like he's got slippery fingers there. Scott, as we start to look back at this end of the PEX water lines, what are we measuring? Where do these lines go? They need to measure and make sure that the height from the floor is correct and the distance between the two lines is correct. That was a very specific category that they are asked to compare to on the judging scope. Once again, using this expansion tool, you can see he's used this before. He's very comfortable with it. You go three to four to five times, and then you've got about three to five seconds max to get that fitting inside where it returns to its original state. So essentially we're thinking of that like your fingers in a rubber band. You're just opening up that space enough so that you can get it capped off. Correct. And the problem is now, as you can see, we're having a little bit of a wrestling match here. He's trying to figure out which way that collar goes on to that PEX. I'm not sure he's worked with this before. This is a fairly new product. We'll see what happens. Signs for plumber Dave, that's for Dave McDonough. We do have two Davids in this competition, although I'm sure they're big Dave Shaner fans as well, who is Justin Kutu's colleague in Fairfax, Virginia. He is struggling with that fitting. 
Justin's having a tough time with this expansion tool. Craig Childress seems totally at ease already with the HVAC championship under his belt, working with those fittings. Now he'll take that small piece, attach it to that black elbow that's on that blue piece aiming toward him, and then put another fitting <laughs> on the blue PEX pipe that's in the wall. First step, Joel, cutting the PEX to the right length, inserting the white collar over the pipe, inserting the expansion tube, pumping it three to five times to expand it, and then you gotta get your fitting in there real quickly. Voila, it's waterproof. Then he's completed his water line for the cold feed. In just 90 minutes, there are more than 12 distinct tasks each of these competitors need to complete. One of these plumbers will walk away with a national championship title for doing so and a check for $10,000 when the 2023 Plumbing National Championship returns. Stick around. Time starting to dwindle down here in Tampa. Final stages of the 2023 Plumbing National Championship. And it looks like for those at the front of the pack, we are on to some of the final steps. We can see that Craig has already installed his sink. He's installing the P-trap underneath. He is on the home stretch, Joel. Craig's wife, Rachel, is in attendance here with Max Schwartz's wife, who was last year's champion in the HVAC competition. They're both from Greater Boston. He already has one championship under his belt, and he is in the thick of it for his second this year. Installing the final nail plates here over the PVC pipe and the PEX piping, protecting those pipes from any nail penetrations. The question that remains, if Craig comes away with his second championship, is there a parade down Lansdowne Street? Joel, if that happens, I think you and I should both drive the duck boats. You got a deal. Scott, we're behind the sink now. What's going on? He's installing the Desenko, which is a trap adapter from the trap going into the drain. Looks like these PEX expanders have become the ultimate equalizer in this competition. It's really been a separator down the stretch. It's been consuming some time at the end near the sink which I thought originally seeing this would be the fastest part of this install. Four minutes, 30 seconds left. We are Looking across the other competitors in the field right now, the question is, will anybody else get as far as Craig Childress has? Yes, time is a factor. Yes, work completed is a factor. But workmanship, how well did you do the work you've completed, is maybe the biggest factor. Justin installing that final okay. connection for the sink drain, which is the P-trap. That P-trap fills up with water, prevents sewer gas from coming out of the street or the septic. It's a critical component to every sink in America. It seems simple that it's just a PVC pipe. What makes it work that way? The water is a barrier for the gas, so the water will not let the gas go into your drain. Therefore, you will not smell what is inside the sewer. Three minutes left to go in this competition, and it's the final touches and checks here for Craig Childress. Everybody else racing against the clock. Another look at the primer and glue we saw early on with the PVC. I think Craig Childress is done. All he has to do is press that button, and Craig Childress is confident in his work. He submits his test at the 2023 Plumbing National Championship. Nice! How are you feeling? Feeling awesome. Took your time? Methodical? Yeah, tried to. Feel confident that everything's right? I think it's, uh, I think it's good, yeah. Anything strip you up or everything smooth sailing? Uh, no, pretty good. I mean, a couple of fittings, but worked through it, so. Now you had a big cheering section out here. Okay. How did that? Did you hear them while you were competing? I think every, to... everybody heard them. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, they're proud of you, obviously, and you were worth it because you finished first. Awesome. Hopefully, the work stands up. Right. We'll see what the judges have to say. Awesome. Nice job. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Appreciate it. Craig Childress could become the first person to go two for two in Elite Trades Championship Series history. He could win the HVAC and plumbing titles this year. The old Bo Jackson of the trades. A minute and 20 to go. Still plenty of time for the rest of the field to catch up. Thank you. We only have one minute left. 
One minute left! One minute left to go. Nail plates being hammered in across the board. The fastest hammering, Scott, I think you've ever seen. They have so much work to do, Joel, in such a little amount of time. This is a heavy lift in just a mere 90 minutes. I'm so impressed. Craig Childress has already finished. Who else can get the work done? Justin Kutu is in an absolute fever pitch right now. These guys are hustling at this point. There's a lot of nail plates that have to be nailed on. I am so impressed with the level of speed and accuracy they're at at this point. They're like fighter pilots for plumbers. An hour and a half of competition and it all comes down to this. Joe Jasper's trying to get those nail plates on. He's gonna get up top to protect that stack PVC as well. He's gotta go. This isn't the time to look for tools. Final 10 seconds. Chip Wade is gonna count us to the finish. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We are done at the inaugural Plumbing National Championship. And Justin Kutu looks like he just ran a marathon. He's a solid competitor, Joel. If he's out this winded, it must have been an amazing amount of work. Real proud of these guys. They killed it. Chip is with Joe Jaspers. How close were you to finishing? Uh, just the final in touches. I needed a nail in my supports. So very close. Yeah, that, that close. This is coming down to the final a little bit. Everybody, only one person even finished. So really, I mean, don't you feel like you're still in this thing? Yeah. Confidence level still high? Yeah, I think my workmanship's good. I didn't do my TMP though. Ran out of time on that one. Well, it's gonna come down to see where all of the final criteria come together, but you look happy and the work looks great. So I'm, I'm wishing you the best. Thank you. <laughs> all right, man, good luck. Chip, thank you. Five competitors, three are going home with cash. One will have the coveted title of national champion. And Scott, all you can do now is evaluate your work. The hay is in the barn. <laughs> While the competition is over, we have hit that shutoff valve. It's now time for the judges to shine. Let's take a look at what our judges are looking for in the ideal score sheet breakdown. Workmanship refers to a quality job, which means attention to detail. And there's very little room for error in this line of work. They have to do everything just right to do the job right. The piping, drilling, line assembly installation all have to be perfect and the judges are adding a clean job site to top it all off because a good plumber takes pride in his or her work. That's where time comes in. It's extremely challenging to do perfect work when you're under this kind of time crunch and that's been a big challenge for these pros. They're used to taking their time and doing their work perfectly so adding a factor of time really illuminates who's able to do the best work. Our five competitors have finished their work and the judges are doing theirs. When we come back, we'll see the results of the scoring and we'll see who's walking away with a $10,000 check and that coveted title, Best Plumber in America. That's when the 2023 Plumbing National Championship returns. Welcome back to the 2023 Plumbing National Championship. Time has expired, tools are down, work is done, and the judges are making a final decision. Soon we will be crowning the first ever plumbing national champion. We do have good news. The Service Titan Elite Trades Championship Series is returning in 2024. It's in West Palm Beach, Florida. So if you're in the trades and you want to test your skills, keep an eye out for updates on how to enter and compete with the best in the US. There are so many talented and passionate plumbers in the United States. So, to all you plumbers out there, sign up, qualify, and show off your skills next year with us in West Palm Beach, Florida. It's been an action-packed day for our plumbers. Let's take a look at the 2023 Finals Recap, brought to you by Flex Power Tools. The plumbers were tasked with the installation of a water heater and sink, complete with water lines, copper piping, and PVC drains. They had 90 minutes to complete a task that would typically take several hours. Dave McDonough was the most experienced competitor today with more than 40 years in the trade. While we hit a snag early on with an incorrect drill location. His experience showed though, and he fixed what he could to carry on with the task at hand. Joe Jaspers, a fourth generation plumber, was focused and meticulous in his assemblies, but he couldn't quite finish in time, leaving some parts of his board incomplete. 
Justin Kutu and Dave Shaner, colleagues out of Fairfax, Virginia, took on each other with focus and determination, but also came up short on completion, wishing they had just a bit more time. And then there's Craig Childress, the first cross-trade competitor in Elite Trades Championship Series history. The guy barely broke a sweat attempting to claim his second Trades Championship. Any one of these plumbers could come away with a win. The judges are now taking a closer look. They will have the final set. Well, Joel, someone's walking out of here with $10,000 and a national title, and it looks like it's time to find out. The judges' results are in. Let's send it down to Chip to announce our winner in the Service Titan Pro Winner Announcement. Are you guys ready to hear your results? All right, this is exciting. We're gonna start in third place, taking home $3,000. Let's give it up from Cincinnati, Ohio, Joe Jaspers. Congratulations. Four finalists remain. Coming in in second place and bringing home $7,000. Let's hear it from Fairfax, Virginia, David Shaver! Nice, congratulations, David. Congratulations. Now there's only three, but there's only one check left and the title of national champion from Peabody, Massachusetts, Craig Childress! Childress did it again, two for two in 2023. The first crossover champion in Elite Trade Championship Series history. He wins HVAC and plumbing, a two-time national champion. Nice I'll say, Joel, that I have big respect for this guy. Craig Childress, he set the pace for the future of the plumbing and HVAC national championship. Unbelievable. Craig, it is undeniable. You're the champion. Uh, what does that mean to you? It means everything to me. Having my wife in the stands cheering me on is just, you know, the best thing. Couldn't ask for anything more. What are you going to do when you get home with this? Who are you going to tell? My kids. Think they're going to be proud? I, I hope so. <laughs> you know what? They're going to see pictures of this. They're going to watch videos of this even as they grow older. What an amazing accomplishment. Congratulations so and much. enjoy the moment. Thank you so much. Awesome, Craig. Really Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolutely. Just an amazing day of competition at the inaugural Plumbers National Championship. Yeah. It was a nationwide search to garner us the top five plumbers in the United States. And then they had the opportunity to display the skills they use every single day. It really proves why plumbing is such an essential trait. Congratulations going out to Craig Childress on that $10,000 check and an incredible second championship in the same year here at the Elite Trades Championship Series. Huge congratulations also out to our second place winner, that's Dave Shaner and Joe Jaspers. He finished third. Great performances by all of these guys. Scott, what stood out to you most about the day? Joel, as you might expect, plumbing isn't the kind of work that's done in front of a crowd and cameras, and yet all five of these guys did an incredible job. It's just a testament to how well they perform under pressure on a day-to-day -day basis. And that puts a wrap on our coverage here in Tampa for the 2023 Plumbing National Championship. For Scott Karen and Chipway, the rest of our crew, my name's Joel Godet. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.